virus. Mm. I don't know why I have to be under your tutorial to understand this course better. <laughs> well, probably because I'm your life coach. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Life coach indeed. <laughs> yeah, your husband is your life coach. Don't you get? <laughs> Fires. Yes, my love. I see, I mean, I see my future husband mm -hmm. as a friend. A partner and a companion, rather than being a coach. I see. You don't want someone who will control you and command you, right? Hmm? Is that it? Not exactly. I just prefer my husband as a friend. Like, as a friend in the house, we'll be coaching each other. That doesn't mean I won't regard him as my... <laughs> Alright. Since that is the case, I will regard you as my neck. Neck? Yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? The husband is the head of the family. Then the wife will be the neck. See how the neck is controlling the head, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fires, I yeah. doubt if that is the truth. Because some neck cannot just control some heads. Hmm. In our own case, the, this neck will control the head. Ah, uh, Pius. What? Ah! What is it? Ah, uh, uh, my shoe pinchy. My shoe pinchy. Ah, ah. I have a slippers there. Can you help me with my shoes? No, ah. please, tell me. Not here. L let's get to a more secluded area before I can help you with your ears. You mean you can't help with the shoe of your woman in public? Ah, tell me. I doubt if this neck can control this head. We are not married, are we? Hmm. Because we are not married, right? If I can't turn the head of my Mr. Husband. I doubt it if I can turn it in marriage. Timmy, stop this drama. Let's get to a more secure area before I can help you with your heels. Come on. Come on. I rock my heels. No pain. Just pulling the legs of my Mr. Head. Oh, Timmy, this is a test. And you failed. Oh, okay. I, I, I will do it now. I will do it now. Come on. Come on, ah, looking at us now, was it? Ah. Who is this? Hello? Yes? My grandma? I, I, I'm coming. I'm coming now. Who is this? Where are you going to? What? Where now they come from? Campus. Campus. Back where? I don't do drugs. <laughs> I've never done it in my life. I, I can't explain how it goes into my bag. <laughs> I'm, <sorry. laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> Believe me. Your parents sent you to school to study so you can be somebody in life. But you all have chosen to be drug addicts. The terrible effects of drug abuse have made our society what it is today. Despite the campaigns against drug abuse, 
by the government and many NGOs. You all have chosen to continue with this evil menace. Don't you know the advert effect of drug abuse on your lives, academics, mental health, and even your social life? Well, it is our duty to get rid of animals like you. Now, I need the phone number of your parents. You. Answer me. Mama, stand up and take your food so that you can take your medicine. Sorry. Hello? Hello? I am Officer Marcos from the NDLE office. Am I on to Pius' grandmother? What happened to Pius? Have you written a statement before? Not in my life. I have never been to the police station before. Ah, cooperative money. Calm down. Calm down. God will punish those calm boys. Down. Down. Their generation will not go no, sir. Morning. What is happening here? Uh, she said she was robbed by two criminals at gunpoint. That the operation was carried out with a motorcycle, according to her, sir. Madam, where did it happen? Around Macaulay Road, close to T-White Junction. I was about entering my car when they parked beside me with motorbike. Ah, the money is not my own, no. Oh. Madam, we are sorry about that. My boys will handle the situation. Thank you, sir. Those criminals will be apprehended soon. Have you taken a statement? About to, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Call this special Friday for me. Okay, sir. Morning, sir. Morning. Inspector Friday. Yes, sir. There's a woman at the counter right now. She was robbed at gunpoint along Macaulay Road. Now, crime rate under this division is now alarming. Now, those criminals now rob at will. Sir, we will intensify on our efforts to arrest those criminals, sir. <clears throat> uh, Kamal. Yes, sir. Which shift are you on now? I'm starting night tomorrow, sir. Good. Tell the officers in your team to take this order seriously. Yes, sir. Those criminals must be arrested as soon as possible. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you.
What is now? Oh, look, I wait they worry you. Ah. Now you suppose to protect us, they shake like chicken went out water. I don't know for that, bro. You, you, you don't waste my time now. Eh? I want to turn on sharp, sharp. What is now? Oh, look, I no vex. It took a while before eating targets. Bring them, bring them, sharp, sharp now. Ah. Why you they do like this? Shut up now. I want to turn on shut up. What you do now? Eh? Hey guys, guys, I, I, I won't make you tell me the truth. The family of three, we am robber kill. You sabi? Where you, where you hear that information? I mean the family of three, we am robber kill. You want them to say you know sabi? Anyway, nobody say we won't kill him, sure. But then, <laughs> you must stop on. So I de, <laughs> you sabi? You know be the stop on from my own side. <laughs> Look, they, 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 they don't report for our station. Say the guy just walk out come from America. Eh, uh, that one a true lock, ba. Now from airport you follow her now. I from airport. Ah. <laughs> Where the dollar will collect? About no dollars, oh. Wait till you talk, eh? Wait till you talk. You 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 waste life. You know you want them to say you know collect. Any eh, eh, dollar? Olokwa. Eh? Wait till be your wala. Wait till be your wala, sir. Wait till you want. I don't know. Wait till you want. We they pay you for ammunition. We know they pay you. Still want they collect for this side. Wow. Clear come up for this place. So. <laughs> you, you, you talk. Now you they. <laughs> you don't know, Kama. Look, for this business, now partner will be. You see? I get to now, for the palm of my hand. If you don't want to go jail, make you give me my own share now. And I have a good job. Officer, you're charging us for hell. What's will be? Now you be our shadow. They don't catch us. They don't catch you with that. They don't they separate me from a shadow now. Eh, hey, that's so. On farm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a well respected police officer of Federal Republic of Nigeria. I go tell you, say, <laughs> Dead body, no, they get shadow. <laughs> Where my share? Uh, wait. Olopa. Go we'll give you something. Ah. How much you want to give Kama? Talk now. Five dollars. Olopa, it did test power. Good evening, my sisters. Good evening. Um, we are sorry if we are disturbing you. Can you please spare us a few minutes out of your time? 
We are here to discuss something important with you, and it is about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. No problem. Say, Siri. We are busy at the moment. Come back later. My sister, we will take just a few minutes. God has a message for you. Please, just a few minutes. Nami, be sister. I resemble sister for your front, Abby. I've been by first person, be sister. No, 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 no. It's not by force. But can we pray with you at least? No. Go and pray for yourselves. My sister, we just want to pray with you. Just prayers. And you people you more like it, you. Go! Go and pray for yourselves. Go, go, go. You don't need your prayer. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. She not by force person they give in life for Jesus. You should have allowed them to say whatever they have to say. They have nothing to say. We too don't do evangelism before now. Are you serious? Yes, now. It's just that these days, the things I want to do, I can't do them. Don't you think God might want to use these people to help you get back to Him or something? I'm not ready. I know what to do when I'm ready. What will you do when you are ready? I've been there, I told you. I know what to do. God is a merciful God. <laughs> well, hello, God's secretary. So you know when uh -huh. God is... Please make my hair. Stop putting saliva on my head. Off the car! Off the car! Off the car! Off the car. How are you? Where are your particular? Ah, this guy go get money. Hey, come up with your boots. Oh, God. Not today, dear officer. You want, you want me to shoot you? Ah. I said, come up with your boots. My guy, they talk to you. They, oh, go down, go up, boot. Come up, you. You okay. press button for me. Oh, guy, never reach that now. You ah. press press button for me. You don't know me. Come up, your boot. Not in danger. Yeah. Come, open now. Or you want me to shoot you? Ah, ah. officer, now I never reach that one. Ah. Open now. Well, I see. Is that everything there empty now? Not in danger. What will be this? This one. Ah, this one I just lying on now. Uh, maybe my dad. Maybe it's for my dad. You know. Open up. Officer. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one. Uh, hey! hey! Officer, come, officer, come, come, come. What will be this? What's this, officer? Hey, officer, sorry. Come, 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 come. Come check out. What's this? Officer, sorry. Look at it. Officer, what's this? I had drugs. This one, I had drugs. Ah, Open up. Oh, yeah. Arrest him, arrest him. Hey, arrest him. officer, officer, Wait. officer. I'm going to shoot you. Hurry up, hurry up. Carry your eyes in there. Carry up. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Take him. You do. Officer. Carry him. Officer, yeah. officer, I beg, I beg, I beg. Yeah. I, this officer, Open. I don't know anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enter, enter. Enter, enter. Enter. Sir. Hold up, hold up. Sir. Sir, he's our last born. And he just graduated from the university. We have never seen with drugs before. <laughs> Sir, I'm a well-respected police officer. Hmm? As you see me, anytime I dare handle case, ah uh ah, -uh. <laughs> I say nothing but the truth. Mr. Jacob, you know Sabi your son? You know Sabi your son at all? Eh? Children of nowadays cannot be trusted. I don't undo many cases like this. Eh? And as I handle them, the parents will tell us, say, eh, they are picking, no, they use drug. But at the end of the day, what thing? Look, your son, they use drug. Eh? And, and this thing, like, the evidence, they, they are, your son, they use drug. Yes, officer, he told us that a particular officer opened the boot of the car 
before he got down from the vehicle. Hey, come up your boots. Ah. Hey. Hey. What are you insinuating? Huh? Hey. <laughs> so now police officer put the drugs for na picking car. Hey, no problem. We go meet for court tomorrow. Ah. Officer, I am not insinuating anything. I'm only telling you the account of our son. When we asked him about how the whole thing happened. So, you think say your picking go tell you say they use drug? Ah! <laughs> Look, the evidence, they glare your son they use drug. God is all in all in this, and he knows the truth. And definitely, he will stay behind the person that is truthful. Okay. I get plenty jobs where I want to do hmm? for here. So, uh, make with me for court tomorrow. Please, Oga, I don't want to go to any court. How can you be of assistance to us? Please. You need them. <laughs> you don't know anything. This matter is serious. It don't reach my colleagues. Even my Oga don't know about this matter. Ah! Mr. Jacob. As you they approach this case, I know if it help you. Eh? Because with little thing, you go say, police won't take bribe. Eh? <laughs> well, as you they see me, I'm a well-respected police officer of Federal Republic of Nigeria without prejudice. Eh? And they do my job professionally. Officer. You are just going too far. I don't have any money to prosecute any case in this country. My wife and I have been living on a pension since the time we retired. We have trained all our children in school. But unfortunately, they have not been able to get a good job. <laughs> Even this car was bought two years ago when my wife's gratitude was paid. Please, how can you assist me? How can you get this boy out of this mess? <laughs> Oga, okay. as you they look, this matter serious. By this time tomorrow, this case will reach the National Drugs Law Enforcement Agency. And see, with police report, your Peking no get chance. Now jail. Huh? Hey, you feel make it good, make it good. Please, please. Just tell me, please. How much you get? I get as much as five hundred naira. Wait see. Ah. ah. See, for this file or depend where they use write the report. Wait. See. Ah. Okay. Make we meet for court tomorrow. Please. I beg you in the name of the Almighty God, please, please. <sighs> hey, make you, you could get 10,000 naira. Waiting. 10,000 naira. Waiting. <sighs> Look, make I tell you. It's a bit you don't know the weight, the gravity. Of this offense, according to the section 19 of the NDLEA law, prescribed 15 to 25 years imprisonment. Ha! Huh? Look, you think we're there on ground now? Now, big offense. If you don't get the money, you're picking the good deal. So, where will I get this, this kind of money? 10,000 naira. It's more than my six month pension. <laughs> this one no be crime matter. Eh? <laughs> you want you go to watch your only baby of the house. Go jail. <laughs> Look. 
If you be a good papa, you fit sell your car. Eh? Sell your car. You want your picking go prison? Or me, they go back home. Wait. Look, if you don't get buyer, if you get buyer for you, you fit sell your car. Each time I give my body as a sacrifice on the bed of fornication, I usually lose my peace. I know this is not right, but I keep finding myself in this mess. The way I have gone far away from God to live my life on my own is becoming scary. Is this boldness or am I destroying my life? Be do baby. Why, why, why you don't stay here overnight? <laughs> I should stay overnight. My mom will kill me, Abby. If you want me to yourself, Chief for seven, please do the need for. Ah, 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 Look, I, I just want me to give me time. Eh? Hey, look. Yeah, I, I go pay your dowry. I go pay him. More time to do away with all the female officers at your station. Eh? 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 Oh man, jealousy. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you the truth. You be the only girl now. You be the only girl with for my life. Eh? And I don't get any other woman. Eh? Look. <laughs> Make a prove up to you. See, now you be the only girl with day for my life. Wait. You think say I get other woman? <laughs> Look, this one. Now you win now. <laughs> now your gift be that. Oh, thank you, thank That's you, more. my love. That one. That one has more. Ah, ah. Look, take anything you want buy. <laughs> Money. Buy, buy a... Hey. Ah, ah. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you. Ah, you want me I want to marry right away. I cannot wait to be your wife. That number I desire. I won't make it happen. Soon, very, very, very soon, make it happen very, very soon. <laughs> hmm. Wait. I have a request. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Talk and make a year. Wait, 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 wait. After our wedding, I want us to go back to God. To go back to church and fellowship with the brethren. Come on. I feel a great vacuum inside of me. I want us to repent and go back to God. Uh, look, uh, uh, after our wedding. Uh, that, that one will be that one will be a problem. That one will be a problem. If you want to make I become pastor, uh, no, 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 Wow, praise God. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Be the life of Christ and be set from sin.
No more welcome. Mama, welcome. Where do you get those things? Mama, was that why you refused to answer me when I greeted you? Anyways, a friend of mine got it for me. I passed your place of work. Your colleague told me that you've resigned. Yes. Why? The salary is small, and I cannot continue to serve someone for that long years. The salary is small. Hey, is our brain no better than none? So the option is to sit at home now, eating me by licking ice cream. I'm starting a business. Eh? Business? Where will you get the money from? God will provide. In fact, he has provided. I can see. The way you snack between meals is a proof that you start spending your own share of the blood money. Blood of Jesus. Mama, do you see blood money? <laughs> the money Kama uses first to collect from innocent people. Do you think I don't know that you are still seeing it? Despite my warning. To desist from following that evil police officer. Hey, if you do, my hair is full. People have started warning me to get my daughter off the back of that evil man. For my daughter is adamant. If you do, my daughter, I may be hungry, but I don't just take anything that comes my way. Ah. Hmm. Where is your taste? Everyone that knows Kama, speak ill about him. He has no good testimony. The way he has taught money from commercial vehicle owner is second to none. Is it not the proceed of the evil money? He wants you to start your own business and you think you can prosper. Mm. Mama, Kama is a very nice person. People are just trying to spoil him. He is a very nice person. Uh, I can see the love you have for him has blindfolded your eyes. Uh, well, I can't blame Kama. Everybody knows that's the son of the devil. What I don't understand is a quiet girl. Born in the church, <laughs> baptized in the church with a good baptism man named Mary. Can fall so cheaply for a man like that. Ah, ask your mother how we advise you. Stop your relationship with Kama. It's not a person that you can marry if only you don't want to live your life in regrets. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <coughs> Ibiru, you've not cooked our dinner. Ah. I can see. You're already eating meat by licking ice cream. I should sleep in hunger. Oh. In your nada. Mm. So how much she give you? 800 naira. 800 naira. And when you want return her? I'm working towards it. Towards it. Towards it. Yes. Huh? Officer yes. Sunday, please where is Kama? He's inside. Uh -huh. Mr. Man, towards it. Yes. See, when will you give her? Eh? Come, come. I want to help you settle this matter. Okay. okay. Yeah? 
I don't want fight here. Yeah. If you fight, I go lock you up. You hear me? Kama, what is the meaning of this message you sent to me? Haven't I warned you that I am not interested in you? Ah, Elena. Why are you, you doing No, leave me. Allow me to raise my voice. Because that is how iniquity thrives in silence. There is nothing between both of us that shouldn't be heard by everyone in this office. Hey, Kama. Elin, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Eh? This thing, now, now, normal things, now, now, normal things, now, now, mutual benefit. Mm -hmm. People, they do them. People, they do them. <laughs> you see? Elin, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, honestly. Really, Kama? Tell me more. I'm listening. You see, mm. Ellie, mm. I just they think of you throughout the day. Now you mm -hmm. are the think of. Mm -hmm. So that was why you sent me this message, right? Ah. Oh, yeah. I they think of your beautiful face. Mm -hmm. I they think of your gentle character. Hey, 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 hey. Wait. Come back to reality. Or come back from your dream world. Come on. Listen, it's true. People are doing it. Even some people in this office that we know, they are doing it. Come on, I am not that type. See, it's the boldness that you have to even come and approach me. That is baffling me. I have not even stopped preaching Christ to you since I was transferred to this office. For you to not think that I will throw all of that in by the side and lay with you in the bed of iniquity? Never. I am not a Christian by mouth. I am redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. My body is the temple of the Most High God. Or, oh, Kama, do you want to fornicate in the body where God lives? Forget that one, Job. Forget that. No, no, be where God lives, I want. Now your body. Look. I get babes. We did for choir. We did for prayer bands. We did go Pentecostal church. Where they speak in tongues, I, I get them. What are you talking now? Kama, hey. I have told you, I am not that type of Christian. <laughs> See, by the grace of God, I will preserve my chastity for my husband, my parents, myself, and above all, to honor God. See, stop comparing me with Christians who do not bear godly fruit. The genuine ones among us are known by the type of fruits we bear. Come on. Do you know that Jesus still loves you? Forget that one. Come on. Forget that one. That one not be for me. Not uh -uh. be for me. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. The next time you send me such a message, I promise you, I will report you to the DPO. I'm not bluffing. Try me. This girl is stubborn, oh. Stubborn, oh. Hey. Hey, hey. I could tell you, say, I crazy pass you now. Nah. I crazy pass you now. Nah. Hey. If you know, I agree softly. Hey. <laughs> I go show you. I go show you. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> What is funny in what I just said? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. I'm laughing because I see a lion in pursuit of charms to be able to kill a rat. I know you are diabolical in protecting your life because of your job. <laughs> what amazes me is how you couldn't get a girl that you are in love with, with all your skills in womanizing. Ah. <laughs> Except I do a love portion for you. Eli, he's a very stubborn gay. I, I, I want to deal with her. I, I want to disgrace her openly. You will pay 
1,000 Naira. 1,000 waiting? Uh, ah, that, 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 that one too much now. Uh, 1,000 waiting. Then you leave her alone. Uh, uh, I go pay. I go pay. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> True to type. <clears throat> I will do something for you. That will make the girl to love you within a period of seven days. But you have to carry out your plans within this period. Mm. <laughs> I go do up. I go do up. <laughs> you are a man. <laughs> You are a man. <laughs> Casala don't bust. Casala don't bust. Ah. What did they talk? The men small make your men arrest us today. Ah. Who they patrol? Oh, I want to be person with the patrol. Now me and you they wear black on black. What did they worry you? Ha. Ah. Ah. Um. Where the ammunition? Hey, sharp, sharp now. They don't collect them. Can you wait? Can I said I don't collect them. Look, look, look. Look, look. look. If not joke, stop him. If not joke, stop him. Can you wait? I don't be joke. You better not carry your gun. What's it? Confirm me. Look. I should see me. Make I tell you something. Make me could listen where where. I should see me. Eh? I be police officer, a well respected police officer of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Oh, look, pa. Do they worry you? Where do they walk you? Don't sabi where you do. Why they shout for my face? Why they behave like person with God day or back? You know sabi me, I don't be rascal. Move! Hey, come on! Ah, 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 ah! You won't do me, boys. You won't do me. You criminals. You won't do me. What do you they talk? What, what do you they talk, Seth? Hey, look! I give him three hours. You don't know me, oh! You don't know, come on! You don't know, you, you don't know me, oh! I give him three hours. If you not return my ammunition, what do you talk, Seth? What do you talk, Seth? Come on! I give her two hours. You listen, two hours. Look, you know Sabi me. I call no person. I call no. I give her one hour. If you don't return her, you criminals. Oh look, ba. Che desia, rasku. Che desia. I tell you, this man a bad market. No de ye. This man over for this week. What's gonna worry you? Why gonna shout for my head? No, 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 be you, no be you the supporter. No be you. What thing walk on do now? Yeah. Make you jack man and come over this cover. What thing they worry? Why they talk like small picking like this? Why they talk like Jew? If we enter, oh, this man go follow us. Ah, oh, not true, not true. And what do you go do? What do you go do? Code 15. Code 15. You be done. Yes. Your sickness is not malaria. When was the last time you saw a period? You are pregnant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I beat it from me.
there are so many mysteries behind his disappearance. Another concern is the whereabouts of his rival that he refused to return back to the office 24 hours after his duty. And we have searched everywhere, even his house, but couldn't find him. Hmm. So, uh, Oga, I saw that body inside Kota. That your tall officer, where they here? Tall one. Is officer that not... Kama. That tall one. Where? Ajebo, 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 it's that Kota. Okay, okay, okay. Oga. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Uh. Officer Sunday, yes, please sir. mind the post. Oh. How are you? How are you feeling now? You're better. That's great. Didn't you know you were pregnant? Why did you attempt to abort the pregnancy? Oh, I'm sure you're not aware how you got here. Your mother says she found these medications in your room. Why this what you took? I don't want the baby. Ah, well, unfortunately, or let me say, fortunately for the innocent child, the baby is very much intact. Yeah? If you do, you see, unsafe abortion is highly risky and criminal. A lot of ladies have lost their lives to this. The combination of medications you took are very dangerous and prescribed by a quack in an attempt to abort the pregnancy fast. Since you came in, your heartbeat has been abnormal and your blood pressure has been persistently elevated in spite of all the medications we administered on you. Well, we have to do further investigation on you to ensure that you have not got some of your systems damaged. And we also need to monitor the baby very closely. I don't want this baby. I don't want this. Well, baby, do. you need some rest. Die without Christ is the 
When you young people of today hmm, starts climbing the ladder of disgrace and we beckon on you to climb up the ladder, <laughs> you protest, you act as if we held us, don't want you to explore what you called life. Ah, but I tried to make you avoid this our family cause. But you never allowed me. Now, you are starting your life as a single mother. Huh. When will this evil cease in our family? Huh. Only if you had listened to me the other day, look at you. The other day, you were eating meat and licking ice cream. Every word I said fell on your blocked ear because of the lust you called love. I have spent everything I have on you because of your health condition. Ah, of all this mess, ah, the most painful thing to me is the kind of seed in your womb. Hmm. With all the evil seeds the father has sowed, he doesn't have to reap 50% of it before his or her life becomes miserable. Ah! Why must it be you and your child that will suffer the sin of karma? Your mother died the day she gave birth to you. She bore you in pains and made some pronouncements over your life. And how your pregnancy have brought her pains. But I have kept the details of this story from you for a long time. But with the recent development in your life, I feel I should let you know where your life battle originated from. Huh. Your father I've sowed many evil seeds and the repercussion have been haunting you since you were a baby. You are always a victim of evil you knew nothing about. I know you don't take drugs, but how come? It was found in your bag. Mm. It's not your fault, actually. Our family is a bad one. Both your father's side and your mother's side. Mm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Pios. 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 When are you going to court? Tomorrow. 
Mama, I have no lawyer. <laughs> I read your case file, Mr. Pels. And your suit is even very good, I must say. Drugs were found in your bag. Sir, I've never taken drugs in my life. I asked them to conduct a medical test on me. Those guys must have planted that drug in my bag. Lawyer, can't we insist they do a medical check on you? Yes, we can actually. But that is not a strong point for us to approach this case. A person doesn't need to take drugs to be found guilty. Being in possession of drugs, either as a dealer or you are helping someone to buy it, is a criminal offense on its own. <sighs> Lawyer, what can you do? I don't want to suffer for the offense I never committed. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Paris. That's why I'm a lawyer. <sighs> this case is hereby adjourned to the 14th of November for judgment. As, As the court pleases. Arise. Amy, thank you for standing by me. You're the only family that I see. I just want you to know that I appreciate everything. It's my bias. I believe God will bring you out of this. How far with the lawyer? Lawyer, I was with him yesterday. Okay. And he insisted we give him some money before the next court sitting. Um, I told him I would get back to him before the next court sitting. How do we waste money? How? I called one of my uncles already. Okay. Because I don't know what lie to tell my parents to get money from them. Let's be hopeful he sends some money to us. <sighs> What is it? Pius, what is it? The judgment day. Each time I remember, it skips. Why? Why? You've got to be bored. I hope nothing bad happened that day. Wait. 14th of November. That's your birthday. Since I grew up, I will have at least one bad news on my birthday. No. Pius, you've got to be positive in your thinking. I pray no evil will happen to you in Jesus' name. Say amen now. At least, say amen. Amen. I won't consider the evidences before me and the brilliant back and forth by the defense and the prosecuting counsel. This is my judgment. Just coming. Hello. Good afternoon, ma. Ooh, pastor, pastor. Good to see you. Me, How are you today? I'm fine, and you? Very well, thank you. How's your family? Bless God, God is faithful. How's work? Very fine, thank you. Good to see you. You look great. <laughs> thank you. Do you have fellowship today? Uh, no, I'm here to see the fellowship president. Oh, please just sit down. Thank you. Officer Larry. Officer Lanre! Ma! That's our pastor. He is seriously on fire. In fact, he has become a counselor to all our inmates in this yard. I attended their fellowship last week and I was greatly blessed by the message he preached. 
the way his life influences the people in his yard is highly impressive. As a Christian, his life challenges me a lot. I study him a lot, but I don't tell him. We thank God for such testimony. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, Officer Larry. Let me allow you, men of God, have your meeting. Oh, that's Th true. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Profile. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And the brethren? They're all doing fine, sir. Great. We are preparing for our handing over. Mm. Yes, sir. That's about three years now, if I'm right. Three years, eight months, and 24 days. Wow. How time flies. Hmm. There were mixed feelings when the announcement was made to the brethren in fellowship that will be leaving the prison soon. Well, uh, mixed feelings because you are the president of the prison Christian fellowship and because of the love they have for you. But at the same time, the desire of everyone here is to gain freedom one day. As for me, I am happy that you are living. Because you're not just living, you're living as a changed person. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, though. Obviously, God allowed me to go through this for a reason. I had a personal encounter with my Lord Jesus Christ, which is my greatest takeaway from prison. Mm. Glory be to God. I also want to thank you for allowing God to use you and your church in supporting prison evangelism. If we have more pastors with this same vision, many inmates will get their own destiny removed. You give your resources without expecting anything back from us. Sir, it is not every man of God that will labor where there is no offering. But you choose to obey God and labor God over our lives. God be praised, my brother. God be praised. So, having said all, what's your plan? Well, sir, to be sincere, I'm scared. Though I'm coming out of here, but I feel I'm, I'm not free from my family cares. I get scared anytime I remember I'm living in prison instead of being excited. Mm. What you need is total deliverance. If you don't mind, can you come and stay with me for some time? I, I, I don't mind, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Great. So once you get out of this place by his grace, we go into sessions of prayers. Thank you, sir. The whole idea behind this is to get you out of spiritual prison. See, a man can gain physical freedom without gaining spiritual liberty. Mm. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, have you forgiven her? Who, oh, sir? Your fellow inmates, the lady who made you a prisoner for these years. No. No. Sir, the message you preached last week has been haunting me. I'm guilty. I need God's forgiveness. What's her name? Rhoda. Okay, Rhoda. Can you please be more specific? Tell me 
the exact thing that happened in full details. You preached the message to us last week at the fellowship on the need for every inmate to get pardon from God about the sins that brought us here. Yes. And that God's pardon is better than state's pardon. Sir, so, I have a confession to make. A confession? Where now do you come from? Campus. Campus. Parkway. I put the drugs in his bag. You, you mean you made that innocent young man suffer for the sin he did not commit? Ha! Huh. But there were four of you inside that car. Where are the others? The driver was found innocent of the charges and was released by the judge. The other guy was my boyfriend. We came here together, but he died after seven days. Rhoda, what exactly were you thinking when you were putting that drug in his back, knowing quite well that it wasn't part of you? <laughs> so I don't know. Something just pushed me to do it. I don't know. Something pushed you? Yes, sir. As much as it is difficult for me to forgive you, I found out that you are not my real enemy. My life has been imprisoned even before I was sentenced by the judge. I forgive you, Rhoda. Thank you so much, Brother Pius. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have a witness in my spirit that by this singular heart of genuine forgiveness, an evil stronghold in your family has just been destroyed. Amen. Amen. And honestly, I'm very excited now. That's okay, my brother. Please, can we pray? My dear, let's pray. Please, say these words of declaration after me. I have the life of Christ in me. I have the life of Christ in me. I am a new creature. I am a new creature. Washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I shall no longer suffer for the sins of my ancestors. I shall no longer suffer for the sins of my ancestors. I declare. Jeremiah 31 from verse 29 to verse 16. In those days they shall see no more. That the fathers are eating sour grief, and the children sit are set on head. Behold, everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth sour grief, his teeth is set on head. Behold, the day is come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Declare, I come out from the ascensional dungeon of my father's house. In the name of Jesus, you are out of that ancestral prison of your father's house. You are out. Declare, brethren. Say it to your maker, I am out. Say it, say it. Declare it. Pious, I speak by the authority in Christ's exalted name to break in pieces every evil padlock that has kept your destiny behind bars. In the name of Jesus, I command your destiny to walk 
out of prison into your dominion, into your glory. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Notice that you were not cheerful throughout the house to house evangelism today. Don't you know that a cheerful heart attracts souls to God's kingdom? Uh, I know, sir. It's just that. It's just that Timmy jilted you. Have you? Have you even prayed about how whether she's the will of God for your life? The two of you were unbelievers when you dated. See, bro, after the last encounter we had with God, things have started to work together for your good. See, some things will happen to you that will pain you. They are meant for your good. Hmm? Move on, bro. Timmy has moved on. You too must move on. I have a leading, sir. 
Good. Ooh. Not in that area, sir. I now have a clear picture of what the Lord wants me to do. Um, after necessary examination, our admin officer has recommended your son for admission. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the third rehabilitation center you'll be taken to. His case gets worse in daily. It seems he has been so much addicted to drugs. We don't live here. We came all the way from Mina. Someone introduced and recommended this place for us. Oh, wow. uh, he'll be fine. Just that he's going to take um, a gradual process. Um, uh, sit down. Sit down. Sit. Oh, uh, hey. Sit, go. Uh, uh, calm down, calm down. <laughs> um, there are seven stages of addiction. We have the initiation stage, the experimentation stage, um, the regular and so on. The final stage is the crisis stage. Your son is on the seventh stage. Ah, seventh stage? <laughs> oh, will you get out of it? Hey. By the grace of God, uh, you know, we have track record of uh, how God has helped us to rehabilitate terrible cases, more than your son's case. We have expertise in behavioral science, and we also have anointed men of God. You know, we combine both uh, physical and spiritual weapons. <laughs> um, meanwhile, you will have to make an initial deposit of 400,000 naira. Hmm. 400,000. Uh, it, it is right. Oh. It is right. Oh, good evening, sir. Oh, oh hello, Pierre. The heat lamp is locked. It's not locked. Thank you. Oh, good day. Good day. 400,000. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Oh, good morning, sir. Madam. Please, is that one of your bosses? Uh, that's my overall boss. He owns this place. Like, owns this place? Yes, ma. Do you know him? Uh, I know. Really? Jesus did it for me. He delivered me from the curse of my blood man. Satan would have destroyed and ruined my destiny. But thank God, I ran to Christ and it delivered me. My life was a desert before I met Christ. Now, my portion in life is blessed. And so, I decided to establish this rehabilitation center to be of help to many. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> the bill for your son's treatment will be on me. Eh? Hmm. Ah. Totally. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Ah, yeah. Hi, yours. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Ah. We really appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Uh, thank God. And um, how come our party didn't cross? Uh, are you not in this city? Oh. Ah, oh, baby. Believe in me now. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> and your wife? Uh, sh she went to Dubai with my daughter uh, to shop for Mama's 90th birthday. Wow, your grandma will be 90. Uh, yes, uh, on the third of next month. 
uh, we decide to thank God for our life. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Thank for our life. <sighs> Kyles, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I left you when you needed help. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't need that, Timmy. Your help would have amounted to nothing if God didn't help me. You weren't at fault. I, I was... I was under a strong spell. Yes. What you see around me today happened after I was delivered from a very strong spiritual prison. Sir, uh, please, even though I am meeting you for the very first time, uh, I must confess that I am totally challenged by your testimony. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I also need deliverance. My son is taken after my past. Can you please pray for me and my family? Why not? Amen. Glory to God. Please, I just feel that you should not watch this powerful movie and not pray. So I'm going to be leading you to pray three prophetic prayers. And you are going to see testimonies in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether you're watching this film as an individual or you're watching it collectively as a family, please pray these prayers after me. Say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I destroy every evil padlock that the enemy is using to lock my destinies behind bars. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on, open your mouth and pray. Every evil padlock that the enemy have used to lock your destiny behind bars. Let them break now. Let them break now. Let them break now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are living as if you are not living. Because your destiny, it has been such change. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I ask by the power that is in the name of Jesus, that such power be broken, such power be destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, break now, 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 in the name of Jesus. As you are praying, the power of God is going to the origin of your life problems, your life challenges, breaking them into pieces in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Prayer number two, say, Father. Father. I use the blood of Jesus to destroy every evil flowing in my bloodline in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not suffer what your parents suffered. You will not suffer the sins of your parents in the name of the Lord Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray this prayer for your children. You have seen the evil that is common in your family reflecting over your children. Break it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual in prison that has said that your life will not go beyond what your forefather lived. No, it's a lie. In the name of Jesus, that yoke of limitation is broken. That yoke of revenge is broken. That yoke of evil consequences is broken. In the name of Jesus, is broken. In the name of Jesus, it is broken. In the name of Jesus, it is broken. In the name of Jesus, it is broken. In the name of Jesus. Prayer number three, we are going to destroy every unseen prison. There are people in prison, they don't know. Because the prison is not physical. You remember what Pius said in that movie? He said, even though I am getting out of prison, I still feel that my life is in prison. There are unseen prisons that men are being kept. By the power of God, such prison will be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Some of you, you have, been, you have been put in prisons where men don't see you. There is no visibility over your life and destiny. Life partners cannot see you. Airpass cannot see you. Why? Because something has covered that glory. It is unseen, except through physical, I mean, spiritual eyes. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, Father. Every, unseen prison, every unseen prison, blocking my visibility, 
be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I break you into pieces. I destroy your power. I break you into pieces. I destroy your power. Let my destiny come out shining brighter as gold. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's my season of liberation. It's my season of getting out of every imprisonment. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I pray for you as you type amen by faith. That you are out of prison. Amen. You are out of prison. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the cloud, the veil covering your destiny be cleared off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now your helpers will locate you. Amen. Now your partners in life, in marriage will locate you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the, the, the yoke is broken. The padlock is broken in pieces. The door is open. The prison gate is open. Remember what happened to Peter when the angel came and broken the gate. And the Bible says that Peter walked out because the gate was open on its own volition. By this prophecy, without stress, walk into your dominion. Amen. Walk into your freedom. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the amazing testimonies that will follow this movie, Amen. that will follow this encounter, Amen. to the glory of God alone, Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I see miracles in numbers, Amen. massive ones, Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, if you are not born again and you have seen this film and you have prayed this prayer, for your testimony to last in your hands, please give your heart to Jesus. Look at what Pius said. He said, Jesus made me who I am today. He can make you and he will make you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So in case you want to pray and say, Father, I need you in my heart. I want you to please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. Please forgive me. With my mouth and from my heart, I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus. I declare that I am born again. And I pray that the power of sin be destroyed over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, if you pray that prayer, send us an email and we're we'll glad to communicate with you. God will keep you and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. If this message has blessed you, please try and send it to others. Copy the link and send it to families around the world that they will know that God is doing wonders through Imprison Movie. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, Amen.